Published 2056 Est, the 15th of November 2017. Updated 2057 Est, the 15th of November 2017. John Cannon was praised by his police superiors after catching a driver who knocked down and seriously injured a pensioner at a pedestrian crossing. The 62-year-old community support officer chased the much younger suspect into Woodland and Rugby tackled him to the ground after he hit a woman, aged 76, traveling at 50 miles per hour. But for the past eight months, he has been suspended, accused of misusing his vehicle's blue lights during the incident in March. He cannot return to work until the Independent Police Complaints Commission has concluded a misconduct probe. Hero John Cannon, left and right, was praised by his police superiors after catching a driver who knocked down and seriously injured a pedestrian. He just feel as though my life has collapsed around me, said the married father of one. It's been on hold for the last eight months. Even the driver has been dealt with by now whereas I'm still waiting. That's the worst thing. If I didnt have a family that supports me, I could see officers in this situation looking towards suicide. All I want to do is go back to work. The community I work with wants me back. As to my superior officers, Mr. Cannon's wages have also been reduced to half pay. The man he caught, Christopher Rajkowicz, has been jailed for three years after admitting dangerous driving. The 39-year-old business contractor ploughed into Winifred Upton, 76, at 50 miles per hour on a pedestrian crossing. But for the past eight months, he has been suspended, accused of misusing his vehicle's blue lights during the incident in March. She suffered fractures to her skull, ribs, pelvis, spine, shoulder, jaw and left leg, and survived only because firemen gave her oxygen before an ambulance arrived. She was in a coma for five weeks and now walks with the aid of a Zimmer frame. Her husband, Kenneth, said Mr. Cannon was doing his job to the best of his ability. I feel sorry for him. He should be commended, not investigated. I have told the police I am disgusted at the way he is being treated. How much has it cost to keep him at home and investigate him? Money could have been better spent on policing. The incident began in a Tesco car park in Manchester when a shopper told Mr. Cannon that Rajkovic was drunk. When challenged, Rajkovic sped off, hitting Mrs. Upton and turning his vehicle over. Mr. Cannon said he used the blue lights to warn other traffic and not, contrary to standing orders, for pursuit. An IPCC spokesman said for the benefit of everyone involved, this investigation has been conducted thoroughly and in good time. The IPCC will consider publication of the findings from this investigation in due course. Greater Manchester Police said it would be inappropriate to comment until the investigation had ended.